didn't get to meet Jeffrey outside of a photo op, which was quite sad because I've got so much to tell him. Uh, so I'm going to save that for Atlanta. Hopefully I get to upgrade my ticket this year. Fingers crossed anyway, because it's my first Walker Stalker um, uh, overseas. And I wish, I just want to make it a once in a lifetime experience. So I really want to upgrade my ticket for that. And if anyone from Walker Stalker Con's watching, upgrade my ticket. <laughs> no, um, I, that trip's going to be once in a lifetime. So I'll just save it for then. But I did get a photo up with him, but that was save save up for the Sunday. Uh, I bought some merch on the Saturday. I bought a t-shirt, which is here. Uh, the man who sold me this was hilarious. Um, they only do small. I'm an extra small because I'm like five foot two, a hundred pounds. But he said stick it on the sixty and it will shrink. Gave given a wash, giving me washing advice. But it says Saviors, it's a band t shirt um, with the Saviors, like a Saviors band t shirt, and that's the best, I like that. So it says Saviors, it's got Skull and Crossbones, um, Skull and Cross, Lucille. It says Half Your Shit Tour, Star and Negan, Alexandria Hilltop, Oceanside, Atlanta, uh, The Scavengers of the Kingdom. It is so cool, I love it. Uh, and it's soft and it's good material, £18 bargain. Um, I loved that, so I'm going to be wearing that. Um, I did. That was the first bit of merch I got on that Saturday. I didn't really want to carry it all around, um, but on the Saturday, uh, Norman opened his queue to VIPs, and he skipped lunch. He went to his photo ops late. That man loves his fans. Uh, I did hear a few bad things about him as well. That he was quiet. He was arrogant. Excuse me. Uh, he doesn't have to do it. He gave up his time. You know what I mean? Shame on these people. You know. Um, the celebrities just give up their time for this and i know they owe money but you know they don't have to do this just it just makes me so angry that people do that so i went up to his table oh i went up to his table and his manager was there and the music was playing and i thought i don't really like this and i said it out of, out of my, that dumb thing came out of my mouth i said i don't read this music and the man, Sean, his manager went, that's his favourite band. And I was like, oh no, 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 no. And I saw him go up to him and go, she just insulted your music taste. And I was like, no, no, no. And uh, he took my autograph and he went, I'm going to rip this up. And I was like, please, just don't do that. I thought in my head, I just paid 60 quid. Please don't rip this bit of paper up, please. Uh, he didn't, he laughed. He called me Hannah Banana. So I'm gonna change my name to that now. No, uh, he signed this. It's of him and Jeffrey, and he signed it in black pen. Uh, so you can't really see it very much. Uh, Hannah, love Norman, signed it over Jeffrey, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, so I got that signed. He, uh, I said to him, I am going to Atlanta, um, and he goes, calm, calm, and he goes, I'm, I'm gonna be eating at your restaurant. And he said, I'm so excited to see you there. Please eat the black bean burger. So apparently that's what I'm going to have to eat when I go there in Atlanta. I am planning to go and eat there. So hopefully that happens and I get to vlog that for you guys. I am so excited. I might have to keep that quiet for another video. But um, yes, he was so nice. He was quiet and he's more soft spoken than I, th I think he's more like Daryl than we give him like credit for, I suppose. He is quite quiet, but he talked to me. And he was lovely and I said thank you for being a real MVP for us reactors. And he was like, oh, wicked, that, no problem, you know what I mean? He was lovely. Um, and <laughs> it was quite funny because we sort of both stopped talking to each other and went, <laughs> he looked at me and went, is there a fire? And honestly, it's not like the sun was on fire, it was mad. He went, there's something on fire. He said to his manager, and his manager went, no, it's not. Went, yeah, there it is. It did smell like someone had like, lit a match and something was burning down. I'm not joking, it was weird. But we did have a laugh about it. And I said, just thank you. And we hugged each other, and then I left. Um, I ran up to that queue, and I was like, I am meeting Norman Reedus. I am meeting him. I missed him last year. We didn't really get to talk. We had a nice chat, and it was lovely. And I'm so happy that I finally got to meet him, and he opened his queues to VIP. I know how lucky it was for me to be there. Um, so I'm really grateful. Uh, his autograph was 60 and it was cheaper than I thought because it was like 95 last year, I think. I think. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. And the next, uh, I, I went to meet, um, I went to Emily Kitty's photo up after that. 
she is an angel an angel beyond proportion and i went up to her and was like hi oh, yeah, it's nice to see you again and i got her photo up i've been waiting years for this i'm gonna treasure it with everything i have i will leave it on screen so you can see it better she is amazing and lovely and wonderful and i look like a potato next to her as well um we look like we're wearing the same jacket i think it looks like we're wearing the same jacket probably not but it really does look like we're in the same jacket anyway tangent once again um and after that i met some more of you guys when i was wandering the convention um i met up with a work friend who won the tickets so thank you james frazier for donating them to our charity they went for a really good cause and him my friend gordon and his daughter um wanted to run the convention together and she got a bite on her arm and she loves Jeffrey. he is her hero and <laughs> she's nine years old nine year old watching the walking dead parenting skills gordy no we walked around the convention together and people met me and said can i take a photo with you and we sat down and had some food and these two girls from germany we sat at a table and talked over the walking dead and the reaction videos and her husband met me and talked to me and they were lovely so if that was you i didn't even catch names i'm so sorry if i didn't catch your names and you took a selfie with me uh, let me know down below or over on twitter because i want to see them and put them in a proper video um yeah and it was great meeting you guys so thank you so much to everyone that came up to me it was crazy that, that made me feel great not gonna lie so thank you um yeah it was pretty much chilled after that we walked around the convention it's kind of a blur actually most of the day we went to meet um how did we go and meet next we it's, i think we sort of left after that it it was quite a bit of sweet day it was a bit sad for me um but i had a good time i had, did have a good time so we went home and we had some food we went to pizza express and the world and his wife were there um yeah we had some pizza and shout out to pizza express to do for doing gluten-free pizzas because i have celiac disease currently eat in restaurants um yeah we went home chilled out we missed the zombie bash because we were just so tired i'm gutted gutted that i didn't go um i didn't go last year either i'm glad i didn't go last year because it ended up being rubbish sorry james but um michael trainer and ross were there um i'm gutted but moving on uh, we went early on the Sunday and the queuing was much easier on the Sunday so thanks James and all that for improving the queuing on the Sunday we got in straight away we had our bags checked and we just went straight in wandered the convention we had to see Nikki and AJ again uh, we saw them a lot during the convention they are our friends we love them um, so yeah and it was basically a free day until half past three because we had photo ops with Norman and Jeffrey, and we had 30 minutes in between, but we, we got our photo ops, which I'll show you in a minute. But I did get some merch that day. Um, I got this mug, Team Negan mug. Don't judge me, please don't judge me. I like Negan, okay? Uh, yes, yeah, it's Team Negan, four pound bargain. Uh, oh, that's it, break it, since I got it. And I got this, another Negan mug. Uh, cheapest chips eight pound four pound done i like supporting the vendors because they uh, have great merch uh, i did feel though the vendors were a bit i don't know they had the same merch on just different stores this year um but that wasn't a problem uh, i got two prints from the person i got last year um there were two for a tenner which is great value um, I should have gotten framed, but I got this one. It says Atlanta, Georgia, and it's a little throwback to season one. So I think I'm going to make my spare room into a filming room during summer uh, as my summer project. So these will be on the wall um, somewhere around when Fear uh, has its break. Um, yeah, and I got this one as well. It's very simple. I like the simplistic movie sort of posters. And in Egan, again, I'm sorry. Uh, Walking Dead, Frank Darabon, 2010. I'll show you a bit more up close. And it's so cool. It's really wicked. I really like these. And they will also go up on in my filming room. And 
This is a poster, a convention poster. I got last year's one as well. And this got rained on. We were queuing and it was so rainy. Uh, it, you can see the bubbles where it got rained on in the light. Look. <laughs> but it's intact and I have it, uh, which is great. So that's also gonna go up in my filming room as well. Uh, it's a little bit different design from last year's. So yeah, that'll be going up as well. Uh, it's not merch, but I want to show you guys anyway. Um, yeah, we wandered around. We saw Pollyanna's panel. I love her and I'm so gutted that I missed her because she seemed lovely. I didn't uh, do much on Sunday, but the next, this has a special place in my heart. I was in the queue for Carrie and something happened, nothing major or anything. I sort of had a bit of a meltdown and I got upset and I cried because I'm a saddo and my best friend took me out of the queue, grabbed me by my shoulders and said, you are better than this, just meet him. So I nearly didn't meet Carrie, um, but I ended up meeting Carrie and these hold a special significance because we walked. I walked up to him and he looked at me and said, you're a reactor, aren't you? And I was like, yes, yes I am. Thank you. And I didn't let him finish his sentence. I grabbed that man as quick as I could. I was like, just thank you. Thank you for recognising me because I have no faith in what I do whatsoever. And it feels like I, how do I word this? It doesn't feel like very appreciated. I am so sorry for saying that because I know, I now know how much you guys like my channel. Thank you so much. But this was before uh, I met a few more of you um, and I just grabbed him. He gives the best hugs and I just said thank you so much. He looked at me and took in my parents and said, um, I was wearing this, I'll leave a photo of me on screen. And he goes, this is very Negan-like. And my dumb ass said, I like that though. That dumb ass thing came out of my mouth in front of the king. And he was like, oh. And I was like, oh no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm playing on the wrong side. And I said, no, I love Ezekiel. I love team family, don't get me wrong. Um, and I said, are you going to Atlanta? And he said, yeah, I'll be there. And I said, I'll be there as well. And he said, you better come in Tiger Ears. You better come and see me wearing something, tiger ears, anything. So I went home and bought these. I bought these bad boys. So I'm gonna wear these in Carrie's honor for the rest of the video. <laughs> uh, that man just reignited something in me that I've lost. That's been missing for uh, a while now. I don't wanna get emotional, I will. I can feel it already. Oh, no. If you do pay attention to my videos, like I said earlier, you'll know that things have happened over the last few months that hurt me and I just so much regret. Uh, I don't even want to get into it. I'm not even going to get into it because I'm moving on. Um, but he knew who I was and that is a little bit egotistical for me to say, thank God. But I nearly gave up. I nearly, nearly gave up, especially in the last few days. I just looked at myself and my channel and everything that's happened over the last year and said no. I don't want to do this anymore because it. I've lost a lot, but I've also gained a lot apparently. <laughs> I've gained you guys and Carrie saying that he knows who I am and just knowing what I do is unexplainable. And I'm so thankful to him for saying that because he reignited something that has been lost for so long. So if he ever gets to watch this, which he won't, thank you, Carrie. You have no idea how your words sort of made me say, no, don't give up. You, you do this for you, not for anything else. Um, you're doing this alone now, but you know, he likes it and people like it. And you've got so much to 
do this for so yeah thank you and i came out of that queue with the biggest heart and i was happy for the entire day uh oh, sorry but i came out of the queue and someone launched themselves at me and grabbed me and said i love your youtube channel i love it can i take a picture with you and i was like oh yeah and i've just met carrie and then his name is frankie if you're watching this frankie which you probably are thank you so much for that sorry i was a bit dazed but the king had just no who it was the king sorry frankie but uh, uh he was lovely and i sort of went yeah t -t -t. i appreciate you man i said when i left um so yeah thanks frankie <laughs> sorry i was a bit sort of out of it but yeah and then me and my best friend sort of went after that and thank you Soph for shaking shaking me and saying get in that queue you're meeting Carrie don't think about anyone else you are meeting that man and he gives the best hugs he's got a, a nice back I'm sorry this sounds a bit weird but you know when you hug someone and you can feel that they've got a really toned back that happened I'm so sorry I just bad girl but yeah I, I walked around in a bit of a daze after that uh, took pictures with more people um, and then we went to our photo ops we went to Norman Regis's photo op which took a while of waiting but um, we met him and last year I gurned in the photo op because I, <laughs> it's kind of a joke between me and my friend that I laughed during the photo op and it just looked like one of those gurning people and <laughs> uh, that photo op I glowed up I don't want to sound egotistical but I had a nose job and I glue, gl we glued up, glued up, glue up, is that a word? Um, so yeah, this is our photo op. And that t-shirt that he's wearing, I'll leave on screen, the t-shirt that he's wearing, I saw a girl meet him and give him this. Um, so you can't say he doesn't love his fans because he does. Uh, he could have just said, oh, and thrown the t-shirt in the bin. But he didn't, he wore it to the convention. And if I was this girl, I would have freaked seeing him wear that and he was warm and he was funny and he was kind and he hugged us and said thank you for coming see you later uh so yeah uh that photo up will be in my filming room as well uh i love this and he's lovely he is really kind and i'm glad i have another copy a bear copy um yeah we just walked around the convention for most of the day we were going to meet melissa but the queue was long and we just didn't get around to it um i didn't really meet many people which i'm a bit gutted about um but yeah we went to it was around half three when we got into jeffrey's queue we were so dog tired dog tired uh we queued up um and we met jeffrey <sighs> that man gets overworked he gets oversold and he got angry with the photo op staff because they were so demanding of him and celebrity photo ops i think needs to improve that and improve their attitude to fans because they were grabbing fans and physically pushing them out the door to get more people in that man is not a cash cow and we are not banks we aren't there to be used for money etc like we like the walking dead we you know what i mean i'm just a bit mad about that but we went in and he stopped for a coffee break he drank his coffee and then beckoned us over <laughs> um yes um and he hugged us and we got the photo up uh if you want i'm gonna leave it on screen but if you want to see what pure joy looks like that is it that is pure joy he is my favorite i have met so many wonderful people through my love of denny and Negan and The Walking Dead in general. Uh, shout out to Kerry and Lisa, um, who never ending support for what I do outside of videos. Um, <laughs> it's weird me and him, but <laughs> to Kerry and Lisa, just thanks. And I want to just thank Jeffrey, myself in Atlanta, for giving me this wonderful friend, giving me these wonderful friends and these wonderful experiences uh he hugs so tight if you can see in the photo op his fingers go white when he holds you and i'm like Ugh, squished like that in his photo op but i was so happy um joy pure joy right there 
that man is the 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 that that man is the best. Um, and afterwards, my friend did walk away, and I said I. I grabbed his arm and I said, thank you. And he leaned down right into my face, beard like, right close to my face. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. He's like that far away from my face. Holy shit, holy shit. <laughs> and he said, thank you, see you later. And I was like, that's it, that's it. I'm dead, I died, death is imminent. That's it, I've gone, bye. And I sort of walked out there, out of there and I was like, oh, oh my God. And I think that sort of made up for me not getting his autograph. I mean, eh, I was sad, but still, uh, I can't really afford the big ticket. So hopefully in Atlanta, I am able to meet him properly. So my weekend was wonderful and amazing. And I can't thank you guys enough for being there and coming up to me and asking for selfies and just saying how much you like my channel and it just means so much to me this weekend wasn't as good as last year and it was different and it took a bit of adjustment and i cried a few times and i got angry a few times and i just it's just a little bit different but it was it was the best weekend it was I, I came into Walkstalker feeling awful and there's been a few times since where I've thought I can't do this maybe it's time to try something different but then I thought about you guys and I thought about Carrie and I thought about my best friend and then I, I thought no just no and I thought about the people that support me and have supported me before no so thank you if you came up to me if you wanted to meet me if you've commented on my channel and you've subscribed to my channel we are eight away from 3k uh, i never thought i'd get to that ever uh, especially over the past few months i've just thought no we're never gonna get anywhere with this maybe it's time to try something new but no thank you thank you so much if you've ever commented if you've ever liked anything if you've ever you've if you've ever talked to me offline online if you've ever supported me ever thank you so much and yeah thanks uh, i hope this was interesting i didn't vlog any of it really because i just didn't feel like i could i felt a bit awkward about it last year you could tell the difference i was happier last year and you could tell during the vlogs and stuff i just didn't want to vlog but in Atlanta, I will be vlogging. Well, I will. Uh, so look out for that. It is, let me have a look how far away it is. Let me have a look, let me have a look. Da, 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 da. 220 days, which is like 31 weeks away. So you've got a bit of a long wait for the vlog, but still uh, i'm very excited to go i've got loads of things planned i've got to book my flights the transfers and the tour of the film the tour of the film and locations and stuff uh, and hopefully i get to meet some of you guys american you guys uh, apparently uh, a lot of my viewership comes from america so uh hopefully if you're going i'd love to say hello because i'm going alone and i can't wait to meet shady and other american youtubers that are going uh i can't wait and I can't wait to meet Mike from Skybound and people from Skybound that are going to finally say, you know, thanks. Thanks very much for featuring my little face, my manly face in your <laughs> reaction videos. So much love coming from me to you. I love you guys. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed my reaction on Monday. The episode is going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. And Fear the Walking Dead is back. Holy moly. The trailer looks amazing absolutely fucking amazing and morgan's over and there's no break in between fear and the walking dead it usually comes back in august but it's coming back in april so may june july august september october i think fear runs from april until october so there's gonna be no break i'm actually quite looking forward to that before i thought oh there's gonna be no break i'm never gonna get a rest but my lovely people at my job 
uh, let me swap my shifts and give me a Monday off. So there's going to be more videos and just everything. Before I go, I'm, I really want to thank my boss, Claire, because I went into work the other day in tears. Everything got on top of me. Uh, I just had the worst time. Um, I just had the worst time and some things you can't change and some things that you do you can't take back and oh, I sort of cracked <laughs> I don't really want to cry in this video um, I sort of cracked and I want to thank her so much for what she did for me um, so yeah if you ever watch this Claire thank you so much you don't know how much that means to me and thank you guys uh, I wasn't going to make this video emotional, but apparently I'm going to cry again. <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you want to speak to me on Twitter, I'll be over there. Like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, but thank you, Skybound and The Walking Dead, for being amazing to me. Thanks to you guys. Okay, tangent. Oh, no. Before I go, I want to show you this. Uh, one of my friends from Tumblr, uh, Morgan, uh is an artist and she is wonderful Con conscious inspirations on instagram i will link it down below and i will leave it on the screen uh she sent me a parcel and i went to the post office and i thought what's that and i opened it and i thought oh my god this is something to do with beth and daryl because i like them and we've talked about them and uh, all that jazz um i am unashamed bethel fan don't judge me please i can feel the judgment no uh i opened it and i thought Oh my god, my dad was with me and in the street and my parents don't really get it, they don't really, they're not really into it, I'm doing this more or less alone and all that stuff. And But he saw the way I reacted to this and he looked at me and he went, you really love this don't you? And I was like, yeah do. Uh, and I cried when I opened this, I don't know why. But the reason that I like Negan so much is because he has everything stacked against him. and he isn't very popular and he's got big enemies and stuff but he's got all those things against him and he still uh, manages to be a badass and I opened this and I thought I'm a badass too how amazing is this that would be me that would be Negan oh look at it look at it look how badass we are Look how badass the drawing is. Now, so that will be back here. Uh, and I really recommend uh, going up to her for a commission. Uh, she is lovely and I love her so much, so thank you. And I hope to meet you in Atlanta, if you're still about. Um, she is one of the first people that I talked to on Tumblr and we've been friends ever since. So. People say that you can't have friends online and friends aren't real friends online, but they are. And treat them treat them well. Uh, yeah, so definitely go to her for commission. I will leave everybody's links down below and just thank you so much. This means more than you know. Uh, but I'll be doing a live stream after The Walking Dead uh, episode 12, which is called The Key. If I'm not wrong. Uh, it looks dead set to be an amazing episode. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll be doing a live stream to review that. Uh, the last live stream re went really well. So if you came to that, if you watched that, thank you very much. Uh, and th big thanks to Trophy Munch's Joe. Uh, I'll leave his link down below as well for being the technical wizard because the first live stream I tried, I was talking and there was no sound. So yeah, thanks Joe for that. Uh, Yep, all my links will be down below and everything. I'll see you on Monday. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, see you later. Bye-bye.